Today we will review how to log into PowerSchool and how to enroll a new student. The first thing you will do is open a web browser. The preferred web browser for use with PowerSchool is Mozilla Firefox. The next thing you will do is make sure you go to the appropriate URL for PowerSchool for the Acton School District located here at the top of the screen. The next thing you will do is type in your username and password and hit sign in. For training purposes, we will be using the test server, so please ignore this URL. It is not the correct one. So once we log in, we see our start screen. To enroll a new student, there are two options. Well, there are actually three, but the two easiest will be to either click here on enroll new student or to click here on enroll new student. Once you click on enroll new student, you will be on the enroll new student screen. You will enter the information that is given to you on the enrollment forms provided to you by the parent. You will also want to cross-reference the student's name and date of birth with the student's birth certificate. The information that you enter here for the student's name will need to match what is on the birth certificate. Sometimes the parent likes to put on the registration forms not the legal name, so you need to be sure that what you're entering here is the student's first, middle, and last name is their legal name from their birth certificate, not just their nickname or what the student likes to be called. So we will start here by entering the information. As you enter, you want to also be sure that you are entering information in case proper, meaning no capital letters, I mean not all capital letters, not all lowercase, just case proper as I have demonstrated here. The next will be the date of birth. We'll need to enter in correct formatting with a two digit month with a slash, two digit day slash, followed by the four digit year of birth. The student number field we will leave blank. The social security number we hope to have because by the time the student's in high school it is an important number that we have especially if the student is in the A plus program. The phone number will be the student's home phone number again as listed on the enrollment form provided by the parent. The next is the enrollment date. You want to be sure that the enrollment date is the date that the student will start school in our district. By default, the date here is whatever day you are physically adding them to PowerSchool. So if they will not begin school on this date, please be sure to change the enrollment date here. The full-time equivalency. Most of our students are full-time. However, if you have a student who is not full-time and their FTE is not located in this list, please be sure to contact Samantha Kurtzborn and she'll be able to help um, create a new FTE for your student. You will choose the grade level. You will next choose the entry code, which is a derivative of a list from the DESE entry codes. Um, most of the student's entry code reason should be here in this list. If you're having a hard time choosing which one is correct, again, contact Samantha, she can help you. The next will be the district district of residence. Um, again, most of our students are an Afton um, school district resident, but we also have students in the DSEG program with St. Louis City or in the Normandy transfer program. But for this training purpose, we will pick Afton school district student. The fee exemption status, just leave the default. Next, you'll move on to the Missouri state information. So choose the ethnicity of the student, choose the gender of the student. This student is enrolled in kindergarten, so we will need to change this to full day kindergarten. They are not a part-time student, so we do not check that box for a full-time student. Their membership, membership percentage is 100% because this is a full-time student. The attending district is our county district code 096098. The attending school for this student is 4040 because they go to Main Year, again with the School of Residence 4040. If you do not know the appropriate School of Residence or the appropriate attending school, contact Samantha. The residency status for this student is a resident one student. Um, we also have DSEG students and parent tuition students. The parent tuition students are only the students at the Early Childhood Center though. We do not accept tuition for any other grade level. The school choice is left blank. When you get down here under the information for family match, you can enroll your student without 
linking or copying information from another student. If you know for sure there is no other family member in the Afton School District, you can just click that box. For this training, we are going to search for a family member. Um, down here, we are going to enter the student's address. Um, the other thing I would like to address at this time is the fact that we are really trying to get consistent throughout the district with our data formatting. That being said, when entering things like addresses um, and you want to know what the correct address suffix is for, like this should be Niles Place, but the suffix will be PL for place. And if you just take a look at the screenshot of this Word document here, is what you should be entering for address suffixes. RD for road, TRL for trail, etc. All listed right there. Um, you also notice there is no period after place and there is no period after the Saint and St. Louis. We do not use the punctuation when entering addresses. We will then click Submit. The program has found a couple students that it believes may, may or may not match our student. You can reference mothers and fathers' names and address, things like that, with the enrollment paperwork from the parent. In this example, um, we may know that Michael and Mariah are related to Samantha, but looking at the paperwork, we don't want to copy that information because Elizabeth is not Samantha's mom. So we're going to say that Joseph and Cynthia are related, and we also want to copy Cynthia's information. If you notice, Joseph has graduated already, so Cynthia's information is probably more up-to-date than Joseph's is. So we want to say that they're related, but we don't want to copy Joseph's. We only want to copy Cynthia's. And we're going to click Submit, and you have now enrolled a student. Um, the first screen you will begin to look at after enrollment is the demographic screen, but for today that is all we are going to review.